Hey folks, welcome back to Biscuits Total War. This is Biscuits giving you another online commentary for Rome Total War. Now in today's episode, again, we've got another 31k rules. This is a 3 versus 3, and of course, on the grassy flatlands. So what I'm going to quickly do is outline the armies, outline the players, and then we'll go straight into it and see what actually happens in this battle. So of course, I'm playing on the battlefield myself. I bought the illustrious Scipii, or aka the Blue Romans. Again, it's 31k rules, so just to really outline those rules to anybody who's not entirely sure what 31k rules means. It's a set of rules that people use online. It means that each team has 31,000 denarii. So I've got 31,000 denarii, my allies got 31,000 denarii, and a guy in the far distance has also got 31,000 denarii. Secondly, there's no artillery, there's no um, elephants and six max cavalry units. You can have chariots, you can have horse chariots, you can have whatever you want, but it's six max cav, and also two max horse archers. So if you go for two horse archers, you can only go for four standard cav units. Apart from that, it's really simple, and then there's three max berserkers. If you do go, yeah, I'll get my words out, go for the Germans, and then there's no cap on the amount of infantry, and there's no cap on the amount of archers that you go for. So really, really simple. Uh, simpler than CWB, and in my opinion, it's more fun than CWB. But hey, I could be a bit biased, because I just play 31k. Anyway, what I've gone for is two archers. I have 12 urbans and 6 Praetorian cav. My ally here, who is Lion Dwarf, again, he's got his uh, KW tags on lion dwarf if you're watching this let me know what kw stands for i've got no idea what this kw clan is i think he's just made it up himself he's going for four praetorian cav and then 16 urbans now that's a shitload of urbans um, but interesting to see what he does with it now this other guy i've been sitting here waiting for this replay to start and i've still got no idea how you pronounce this guy's name I'll put it in the description, maybe you can pronounce it, but it's Phoenix Koga Sengaha of, I don't know, I'm just going to call him Cog, nice and easy, Phoenix Cog, and he's also bringing the Blue Romans, the Scipii, and he's gone for 6 Praetorian Cav, 14 Urbans, he says he's relatively new to 31k, but he's done a nice little formation, he's been using the hotkeys, I believe, to get his guys in nice straight lines, which always gets a thumbs up from me. Now the enemy, they have got the Macedonians, and that is Babu. Now Babu, I believe, has actually left this clan. So this could be one of the last battles you actually see with him with this IOW clan tag. I could be wrong, I could be mistaken, but I believe he's now changed. Potentially he might be going to the Wolves clan. But anyway, he's gone for three companion cav, one armoured general, two crescent archers, and then a rest roll pikemen. So a lot of infantry units there. And then over here, Indy, um, Indy, who's obviously brothers with Thor and Odin, um, he has gone for 6 Praetorian Cav and 14 Urbans. Fairly standard build, nice formation. And last but not least, we've got Amos, I uh, believe he was on the Eos clan, and he's gone for 6 Praetorian Cav and 14 Urbans. So exactly the same builds there. Uh, should be quite interesting to see how this pans out. So, opening Gambit. Of course, because I'm playing, I'm going to try and play aggressively, as I like to do. I'm going to charge my infantry forward, charge my archers forward, and try and get a few cheeky little shots on the back of Amos here. If I can try and whittle down his numbers, maybe shoot a few of his guys in the back, I can try and take down some of these urbans, and just basically crank up the pressure, crank up the heat on the SPQ arm. Now, on the opposition, on the far side here, Babu is moving his guys in to try and attack this skippy eye here now if memory serves me right but Boo's going to play quite aggressively now it's quite rare to see this happen with the macedonians macedonians historically speaking they're more of a defensive faction rather than an aggressive attacking faction and um, if you're going to play aggressively you do need to time your charges correctly and make sure you've got lots of support from your ally if you go in there by yourself and go and attack without that support it's going to be pretty hard to actually pull the victory into your quarters anyway in the meantime here i've charged all my guys over here i'm going to get my archers into range i want to start uh, skirmishing and start attacking this spqr army again my 
cav goes forward to support my archers, followed by my infantry, just to make sure I don't get stung by any uh, cav charges. And you can see the opposition, both Indy and Amos, have sent all of their cav onto this side. So on this neck of the woods, we've got 12 Praetorian cav against my 6 Praetorian cav. Uh, but I'm not feeling too worried at the moment, and I keep pushing forward. Switched into the fire arrow attack, as you can see with my archers. On all I'm trying to do is shoot the odd cav unit, maybe drop its morale, make it easier for me to strike forward. Now talking of striking over here, you can see in comes um, Boo Boo with his ca all of his pikes. Now all of the other uh, peeler now is going to absolutely unleash hell and just gun down all of these units here. Now there are shitloads of Macedonian units in each one of these units. There's 122 I believe. Oh, yep, 121. Now some of these units are down to 39. Some of these units are down to 101. These ones are down to 19. I think Baboo's probably been a little bit too overzealous, a bit too aggressive as Pike unit, and he's going to be suffering from those consequences because all of these Pike units are heavily depleted now. In the meantime, over here, again, I'm pushing forwards, shooting the backs of Amos's guys, waiting for Amos to get into formation, and then I'll pile on the pressure at this stage. So Amos is running away over here. I'm pushing forwards into this flank here. Now what's going to happen, Amos is going to charge into my guys here. He's going to try and catch them out of uh, formation. He's going to do quite a nice little charge here because he'll be able to route one, two, three, maybe three of my units, maybe four of my units. But I'm going to come in with a counter charge now and just knock out all of these Skippy Eye units. There we go. So all of the Skippy Eye units, all of the Skippy Eye cab are going to be gone. I'm going to aggressively keep pushing forwards. I've lost a bunch of infantry units, but it's a good sacrifice at the end of the day. We've managed to take that cav supremacy, We've managed to knock out all of these senate's cav. Then what I'm going to do now is just push forward with all my infantry units and try and outsnag and outmaneuver some of these units here. In the meantime, you can just look at all of the uh, pike units. They're pushing forward, they're holding their ground. They've got the guard mode on there, and they're doing a quite they're doing a nice job at this stage. But what's going to happen here is Cog's going to send his infantry units around the flank. So Baboo's going to have to try and counter that and make sure that his pikes are down before these urbans can come into attack. Because if he gets outside, um, isolated, he's going to get a lot of damage on this flank. Back onto this flank here. I'm going to charge in my infantry, going to charge in my cav. What I'm trying to do is trying to gun down this general here. The general is one with this square banner here. It's going to pull back my cav. My infantry units are going to try and snag all of these units here, but just check out all of these Bruti units and all of these Macedonian cav units. Literally all of their cav is on this flank here. I'm going to try and pull back my cav because I won't be able to engage and win that fight. But what I will be able to do is get all my archers over here use little uh, 4th of July firework tactic and just trying to drop the morale for all of these units here. I'm going to charge in the last few units of my urbans here. As you can see I've got all of these urbans around here. All of these archers just gunning down their units here. I'm kind of a bit vulnerable to engage my cav because I'm worried about these Praetorian cav here from the Brutii. Uh, for some reason though the Brutii aren't coming into attack. What they should have done there, they should have gone into a uh, attack me because they would have been able to beat me but the Brutio are now going over here uh, to try and attack this big clump and that's given me great opportunity here to try and surround and isolate the, the senate here and here we go uh, really that was look at the gods there look at the draw because of the Brutio if Indy had gone in there to support his ally he would have been able to knock me out uh, but look uh, Skippy I the senate seen that the Brutio have ran back over here now all I need to do is go for another little charge here and we'll be able to absolutely wipe out all of the Senate. So I was really close there. Um, I could have been knocked out, but the Brutii Indy went to go and attack over here and that just gave me a little chance to isolate and surround uh, those units. Now I'm going to send all of my infantry units now to come and support. Now what Indy needs to do, he needs to get his cab all the way over to this little flank here and support the Macedonians. Because the Macedonians... Um, 
We're doing a nice little hammer and anvil. Well, they're doing a, an anvil, but haven't got any hammer. So this cab needs to come around really, really quick and just try and uh, isolate and try and get these units here before these Macedonians rout. Uh, if they do take their time, all of these Macedonians will rout. So they need to come in really quickly, really quickly, faster, faster, faster. But in the meantime, I've sent in all my infantry units here, all of my cab. I've now been freed up from attacking the Senate. All I'm going to do is charge straight into this BTI unit cluster and destroy them. Now, nice little move here. All of those units have now routed. Now, what needs to happen now? All the infantry units need to put their uh, pikes down, make sure they're attacking these Skippy I, and then send the Brutti out and try and isolate and try and take out all those infantry units. But what has happened is the general of the, uh, the Macedonians, where is he? He's over here being supported. He needs to really engage, send his units in over here to try and boost the morale before it's too late. But I think it's a little bit too late now because those Macedonians have now gone. What's left at this stage is just going to be purely mice forces and line dwarf. Just going to pile in the pressure here, finish off the Bruti. Bruti are now done. Um, it looks like the Macedonians have only got their cab units left. So we're going to charge my infantry, charge my cab straight into these guys and just knock out the, the Macedonians. So it could have really gone either or. I think really the turning battle was over here. If the Brutii had gone in to assist the Senate, they would have been able to destroy me, and then it would have been this a three a versus two. Victory. But because uh, they didn't manage to support the ally there, we managed to take out the Senate and turn this battle into a three versus two. So clear victory, though it could have gone either way. Um, I got in 1,722 kills. Lion Dwarf got in 1,100 kills, uh, Phoenix Cog 1,500 kills and that's purely down to the amount of Peeler that he threw into those Macedonians who really did manage to inflict a lot of damage on the Macedonians. Uh, Macedon uh, taken by Babu only got in 1,000 kills, Indy 1,000 kills or less than 1,000 kills, 800 kills and Amos roughly about 700 kills. So guys hope you enjoyed that, again as always don't forget to leave a little uh, comment don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys soon for the next installment of Biscuits Total War on uh, this channel dedicated to Rome Total War. Anyway folks, thanks for watching. Catch you guys soon. All the best. Bye now.